tonight on Austin City Limits. There was nobody like Stevie Ray. He stepped into the Texas blues tradition and made it his own. Together with Tommy Shannon, Chris Layton, and Reese Winans, they were double trouble. A message of what any blues fan could expect at their shows. Stevie Ray Vaughan and Double Trouble's two signature performances on Austin City Limits in 1983 and 1989 bookended their all too short time together. Stevie and his big brother, rocker Jimmy Vaughn, grew up in South Dallas listening to Bob Wills, Muddy Waters, and Jimmy Reed, among others. I was 12 when I first started trying to play. Stevie was eight. I'd put my guitar down, Stevie would pick it up. He left school, and out on his own, young Stevie made his way 200 miles south of Dallas and quickly joined up with Austin Rockers, the Nightcrawlers, and later, the Cobras. I remember going to see Stevie Ray play at Antone's. Stevie Ray was just a local kid playing guitar at the time. Who knew what he'd become? One night, Antone's had opened up. Clifford goes up to Albert King, says, hey, uh, this is Stevie Ray Vaughan. You should let him sit in. And let me tell you, nobody asked Albert King to sit in, unless you were an idiot. Stevie was right there with Albert King doing Albert King licks. I'll never forget it. It was pretty amazing. When Stevie Ray Vaughan, Tommy Shannon, and Chris Layton teamed up with Reese Winans, they formed a group that would showcase their unique sound, Double Trouble. That's when Stevie really became Stevie Ray Vaughan, you know. Stevie had passion, he had spark, he had pizzazz. The name Double Trouble, it fit. Stevie Ray wouldn't have been who he was or who he became without Double Trouble. You cannot separate the musical magic that they made together. Modern blues masters, more than the sum of their parts. Icons of the Austin scene with worldwide appeal and legendary musical status. Stevie Ray Vaughan and Double Trouble, Austin's pride and joy. <laughs>